I'm going to give myself one more little spritz. Did I say one? I meant five. Hi everybody, welcome back to Pavanine Studios Beauty and Art. My name is Amy. Today is kind of a special day, or evening rather. I'm getting ready to go out to dinner with my husband and it is our 30th anniversary. So yeah, it's hard to believe that that much time has gone by. And like you said this morning, uh, I can't believe we've been putting up with each other for 30 years. I'm like, no kidding. <laughs> But uh, it's all good. We're not going anywhere super special. We're going to a place called The Keg, which is like a steakhouse kind of place. And we haven't been there in just over a year. We were going to go for my birthday, which was back in June and COVID. So they weren't open and uh, they're open now. And we made a reservation, which is at 630, I think. And it's about four right now. So I've got plenty of time to put my face on and screw up and wash it off and put it back on if I need to. That's not gonna happen, right? First, first, let me, let me just get something out of the way real quick. I got an order today from Sephora and I bought, um, mostly I bought like skincare and bath soap, that kind of thing, but I did pick up the La Mer Soft Fluid Longwear foundation and I got the color 220N. It's too it's too effing dark. And I'm so annoyed because I was actually planning on wearing this today, tonight. I put it on my face a little while ago because I didn't put any makeup on this morning or anything. Because I knew I was gonna be putting makeup on for my dinner tonight, and I put it on and I'm like, God damn it. So now I am left with the decision of, uh, well, I'm definitely going to return it because this shit's expensive. It's like $125 or something like that. It's, it's really expensive. The main reason I got it was because a few years ago they had put a sample of this color in a magazine. It was probably Vogue or Elle or one of those. It was enough to wear for a day and I thought it was really pretty but of course I was like I'm not spending I think then it was like hundred and ten dollars so I was like thinking no I'm not gonna spend hundred and ten dollars on a foundation I don't care what it looks like I guess I've just kind of been on a foundation kick lately so I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up and it's the wrong color I bought it at Sephora but I think that what I'm gonna do is take it back there and maybe purchase it at Nordstrom, assuming that the Nordstrom that's closest to me has the La Mer foundations that I can um, swatch or have them swatch for me because I don't wanna get the wrong color again. So we're, we're gonna move on to plan B and I'll probably just wear something that I know that I like and it doesn't have to wear forever or anything. Most of my foundations wear pretty well. The second thing I got today, which I was thinking maybe I might wear in part tonight, but I'm not going to, is the Huda Beauty uh, Khaki Haze Palette. Now I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I don't see any khaki here. To me, khaki is, I know there's khaki brown and khaki green, but I expect some fucking green in here. There's no green in here. The package, the package is green-ish sort of why 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 isn't that color in here and it's not so much that it's not uh, a pretty color story and everything but I have these colors so many times over I remember the little gal in Sephora saying oh yeah everybody's really been liking that because it's different this is different different from what I, I don't get it I mean it's not a super expensive palette it's I think they're $29 or something the formula is fine I have the nude palettes all three of them the, the fair and the medium and the rich and I like those pretty why did I buy this it's because I thought there was gonna be a green in it I actually thought 
that this color in the middle was a green color, like a khaki green color. So there's that. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do about that. I'll probably just end up keeping it. We'll see. I've got some time to think about it. So now I have to figure out what I do wanna put on my eyeballs. I think what I'm gonna do is probably use some of the colors from the Stacy Marie Carnival 3 palette. I'm wearing a green sweater. At least I hope to wear a green sweater. It's a little warm, but we are going out in the evening, so I'm hoping that by the time we go out and certainly by the time we come back, that it will be cool enough that I won't melt into my shoes. But um, it's a, it's kind of a bright tealy green color. There's definitely some um, colors in here that I think will work. Some of these down here. I love this, this clay color. That's like my favorite shade in the whole palette. So I think I'm gonna do some kind of green gold brown thing and probably wear I, can, I don't know probably wear gold jewelry I'm not I'm not really sure about that but we are just going to get started because if I don't get started this is going to be a hundred years long I'm going to prime with my Eden eye primer from Urban Decay so I washed a bunch of brushes yesterday and I'm hoping that when I say a bunch I mean like a bunch so I'm hoping that I've got the right brushes here to to do all of my work we're we're gonna we're gonna hope that's true I'm gonna I think I'm gonna let that set down for a little while just so that it's nice and dry I'm just gonna take kind of a fluffy brush and pick up the color sand which is kind of a oh orangey peachy color and I'm just gonna kind of fluff that right up to the the brow bone super light I'm not really interested in having a lot of color up there but I like to have a little something and this is really the only color that is suitable for that that's not uh, shimmery and I usually just if I highlight my brow bone at all I usually just use my face highlighter I am going to go into the color bamboo color and I'm gonna start with that in my crease So yeah, 30 years, it's it's a little hard to believe. I mean, it's not, but boy, time flies, let me tell you. We met the last year he was at, the, at school, so he was graduating, and we met at a, and I, it was my freshman year, so he's, he's older than I am. And it was my freshman year in college, and we met at a cast party. Although, to be perfectly honest and frank, I do not remember meeting him. I was with somebody else, and, you know, I, being it was my freshman year, I perhaps had overindulged in the uh, alcoholic beverages just a touch, but apparently he, liked enough of what he saw <laughs> to ask a mutual friend my really good friend and his his friend as well to ask me to a like a graduation type of party and so I went but we corresponded over the summer we talked on the phone we wrote letters I just figured it was kind of a you know a one-off kind of thing like it was not it was not going to go anywhere because honestly that was pretty much how all my relationships had been but uh he got my address i think from that same mutual friend and wrote to me and like i say we talked on the phone i met with him again like i drove there with a friend of mine drove to school it was in the next state over and I went with a friend to drive with me because my mom was a little unsure of letting me do that on my own because I was only what would I have been 19 so I kind of get that now I get that 
then I, I, I didn't really see what the fuss was about. That's what age does for you. It gives you a little bit of wisdom, hopefully, and a little bit of perspective. And in the fall, I went, I did, I went back to school, same school, after having been home for the summer. We just started seeing each other pretty much exclusively. And that, as they say in the books, was that. We got married in 1990, obviously. And we met in 88. So, you know, we were dating and, and then living together and stuff for a while before got married and everything. Never, never regretted it. Never, you know, second guessed myself. He's an amazing man, smart, handsome, good to me. I'm very lucky. And I know I'm very lucky. Just adding a little bit of brightness with the color Tropics, which is the, oh, the brightest, the brightest of the darker greens, if that makes sense. And I'm just kind of putting that in the inner, inner crease sort of area. I think for deepening up the outer portion, I am going to grab my Milk Cosmetics palette, the Rust palette, because as I've mentioned in a couple of other videos, I really like that palette and I really like the two dark browns in it because they're actually dark brown. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna pull in a few of those, of those browns. I'm just gonna use that same brush, kind of clean it off a little bit and I'm gonna go into the color Mar. And we're gonna start deepening up that outer corner. And I will probably do something kind of fun on the inner, on my lid. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like a kind of a halo thing or if I'm gonna do half and inward or, or what. Maybe I'll use one of my new liquid metallic multi-chromes from JD Glow. I have only used one in the video that I uh, made to review those and I'll try to remember to link that above. I didn't have the best success as far as like the creasing and stuff so I'm not sure not sure if I'll do that or if I'll go in with the Cleona shadow which is what I may do because I know that those wear well. And you can see that the Melt palette has a fair amount of fallout but not to worry we will be cleaning that up. I'm gonna kind of mix khaki and bamboo together just to kind of blend out those edges a little bit. I'm gonna go into the color Reef, which is turquoise and I'm gonna focus that on the kind of inner third or so of my eye. I don't know how much of this will end up showing, but I do kind of want to have a little bit of a brighter pop. I'm just thankful we can go out to celebrate and, and stuff because, you know, we haven't really been able to do that for for a while, and uh, I'm I'm comfortable with it. Here in Washington, you have to wear a mask in any establishment, and at a restaurant, that means you wear a mask until you're seated, and then as you leave. And I've been to a few restaurants, and so I don't find it overly, you know restrictive or anything like that. I really don't. Clean that up just a little bit. I don't really want to wipe off all my <laughs> lotions and potions. Being married for 30 years is is kind of, I feel like, kind of a, I don't know, a real accomplishment, a real feat these days because so many marriages are troubled and, and don't don't last. But, um, and I, under, I understand that, I really do. I have those uh, Cleona shadows. And I have this particular color, it's green, it's called Trefoil, and it is that. I think that that is what I'm going to put on my lids. <sighs> These are so good. I keep hoping that they're gorgeous. I mean, I've done like a whole, not a whole review, but I've, I've done a review on these right after I got them in the mail. I'll try to remember to link that as well. And I'm just kind of tapping over where that dark green and that brown meet. And then I'm going to go back in with one of those dark browns. 
I'm going to add just a little bit more just to make sure that I've got the darkness that I want out there in that outer region. I mean, I don't have to do this. I could go out in my sweatpants and tank top and John wouldn't care. <laughs> but it's not very often that you get to uh, you get to do something like this. So I'm going to I'm going to go all out with the eyeshadow anyway. <laughs> I have not yet decided what I want to do on that lower lash line, but that's all right. I've got a little time here before I have to make that decision. I am going to go ahead and put on my wing liner, line my eyes, all that stuff, and I will come back and we will do a little work on the face. And yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I got a little sample of the Bite Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer. And this is for normal to dry skin. I've never used this before. I just got it today. So I don't know if it's just like a, kind of like a moisturizer or if it's like a, like a skin blurring thing. It doesn't feel like a skin blurring thing. It feels like a moisturizer. No scent that I can determine. So I'm just gonna put this all over because like I say, it just feels like a, like a moisturizing primer as opposed to a pore blurring, line blurring. I don't like primers like that anyway. Or at least I have not yet found one that I that I liked. So I'm not I'm not much of a primer person. You know that if you've been here before, but that seems you know, that seems nice. I can see that there's there's something in it because when I rub my hands together it is balling up a little bit, pilling a little bit, but then it kind of goes away too. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So I think today I'm gonna mix the Estee Lauder double wear light in the shade 1 and 2 ecru with the origins pretty in bloom foundation long wear foundation and this is 230 light neutral and they're pretty similar in shade but they've got a little bit different undertones so this one right here is the origins and then this one on this side is the uh, Estee Lauder so it's a little bit of a cooler tone, I guess you'd call it. This is probably way too much foundation, but we're gonna go ahead and start there. Yeah, I got a lot of foundation here. Maybe I'll bring some of it down onto my chest because the little sweater that I'm wearing is kind of a one-shouldered sort of thing. So it's not super bare, but like a little bit of my chest might show. So I don't usually, I mean, I'd like to put more foundation or I'd like to put foundation more often on on my um, chest, but everything wants to come off onto my either my clothes, my, oh, sorry guys, my seat belt, my, you know, whatever. And that's not, that's not ideal. I'll put a little extra on a couple of little spots that I have here, for lack of a better word. And I am going to do some concealer. I'm going to take my slightly, very slightly damp sponge. This is the one from e.l.f stamp that out on my, for some reason my nose has been really red right right there. I don't know if it's like my sunglasses or, I'm not sure what the story is there, but I'm gonna go ahead and conceal a little bit. The Giorgio Armani Power flex, whatever, stretchable, I don't know. I can't I can't keep all the names straight, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna let that sit there for just a minute in order to get a little bit more a little bit more out of it, a little bit more coverage. And in the meantime, I'm going to clean off the back of my hand before I end up with foundation everywhere. And give some thought as to the face products I want to use. You know, I don't think I'm going to do anything super exotic tonight. Um, I'm just not feeling that, <laughs> I'm 
like experimental, I guess, with my makeup as far as, you know, trying a bunch of new untested, untried stuff for a special occasion. That's not really, <laughs> that's not really the best idea. This morning when I left to go run a couple of errands, I walked out my front door and scared the shit out of me. There were two deer in my yard, kind of in the corner at the foot of my driveway, so not very far away. And I surprised them too, I think, but they didn't run. I was so, I, I was amazed by that. I was like, wow, they're probably relatively used to at least the sight of, of people. And I tried not to move or make a, you know, make a sudden movement or a loud noise or anything like that because I wanted to take a picture. <laughs> and of course, invariably, when I want to take a picture of something, my camera or my phone is in the bottom of my purse and I've got something in my hands and so I'm trying to unlock my phone with one hand and <sighs> I, I could have set things down but I thought if I do that then they're really gonna they're really gonna bolt <laughs> so I didn't do that I did the best I could I I did manage to I did manage to get a picture so I'm thrilled by that and they were so pretty it was I think it was probably a, a mom and her her baby not baby baby but uh, relatively young probably not a not a yearling yet maybe but just the two of them I just saw the two of them no other babies no dad no nothing like that now they might have been close by who knows powdering a little these are not foundations that really need a lot of powder Anyway, they were so pretty and I was so happy to, to get a picture. And then they just kind of walked off. They stood there and stared at me for a minute, which was a little disconcerting. I'm gonna use the Peri Para contour, bronzer, whatever you wanna call it. Another thing that I did a little bit earlier was I watched a video from a YouTuber that I really like and admire and I love her style, Nikki Raven. If you know her, then you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, I highly recommend her. Anyway, she was doing a tag put out by another YouTuber, Tammy at Vinyl Beauty, who I also follow. And it's called, I believe it's called the Ageless Beauty Tag. Nikki basically just tagged everybody. <laughs> So I'm like, I can do that. I'm going to do that. I've never done a tag video. It'll be fun. It'll be fun, she says. What could go wrong, she says. I'm going to take this blush from, I believe it's from Coastal Sands. Yes, and this is called Mellow Coral. And it's just kind of, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, a shimmer to it. It's just kind of a nice nudie color. Personally, I don't think it looks like coral at all, but what do I know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about what highlight I want to do because it's just a very important step. Ah, oh, that's one thing I need to do. I need to, well I don't need to, but I'm going to. I'm not gonna contour my nose, but just add a little bit down the sides here. Just a little gentle shading. I find that the more Mm, haphazard I am, not haphazard, but the looser I am with my contour on my nose, the better it looks, at least in my opinion, as opposed to taking a fine brush and drawing the lines and the lines and the li I, To me, it just looks, looks good when I see other people do it, but when I do it, mm -mm. I could wear a billion different highlighters, but I think I'm gonna go into the Clinique Lunar Pop just because this one's really pretty and I know what to expect and I like that in a in some products it's like it's like going to you know McDonald's or Taco Bell or something like that you know what you're gonna get doesn't matter where you go what state or whatever you know what you're gonna get and that's sometimes that's really appealing 
go in with a little setting spray. This is the Collab Grand Finale. And I still need to do my brows and my lower lash line and stuff, but I might spray again with a little bit more of that after I get that part done. I am going to let that set down and I will be right back. Okay, I went ahead and did my brows and lined my waterline and tight lined with ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Teaspoon. And I'm going to line my lips and this is the Rimmel Exaggerate in Innocent. Mostly I just got to get something on my, my lips because they're feeling dry. That should match well. I'm going to use a new lipstick that I got just today. This is one of the Natasha Denona I Need a Nudes and this one is in the shade Natasha. So that's what she looks like. This is a little bit more peachy than I usually go for. This is a matte, or at least it looks matte to me. It does feel pretty creamy. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a long wearing type of thing. I would assume so. I don't expect a lot out of my lipsticks just because, I don't know, if you're drinking out of straws and you go out to dinner and stuff. I don't know. I just don't expect a lot. This is the Sephora gloss in the shade Yes Honey. Let us go ahead and do a little something on that lower waterline. I'm going to start with clay and put that on the lower lash line. Did I say waterline? Lash line. I meant lash line. And we're just going to use this as kind of the the base color, the color that gets blown out the most. My lower lip is like really sore on the inside because this morning Sebastian was getting up into the window that's above our bed and he's he's like a He's like a bull in the china shop. That is what he's like. And so, I mean, he's like a maniac. So he was like scrambling up there all toenails and everything and managed to scratch my, the inside of my lip, which I guess I deserve if my mouth was hanging open, right? But <laughs> nevertheless, it hurt. And uh, I'm glad it wasn't any worse than that. Okay, I'm going in with the shade Khaki, a little bit darker. I'm going to give myself one more little spritz. Did I say one? I meant five. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how these two play with each other and especially with that primer on underneath which um, I've never used before and I'm not sure about the wisdom of using it on a special occasion night for the first time, but hey, why not? Also, while I was away I, <laughs> a minute ago, I was like, I'm almost positive that I said Tammy from Vinyl Beauty, and it's Debbie, not Tammy. I'm so sorry, Debbie. Debbie from Vinyl Beauty started the tag, um, age, I think it's Ageless Beauty or something like that. And then Nikki picked up on that and she did a video about it and I plan to do it as well. And so definitely I will link their videos and stuff down below and, and you can go check those out. Those are both lovely ladies of, of an age, shall we say? We are all of an age. I think that'll be a, a fun tag, especially if a lot of people do it because the questions are really good. And they all have to do with aging and, and makeup and stuff. And I don't know, I just find things like that interesting and I like to hear people's different perspectives and stuff when it comes to that kind of thing because it, everybody's different and ultimately you have to do the thing that is most comfortable for you, I think, when it comes to your makeup, whatever your age. I did use that same eyeliner on 
my top lash line, but then it ended up not being quite as dark as I wanted it, especially going over that um, that Cleona multi-chrome color. It was just not quite not quite dark enough, so I went over it with black. I think I used the breakup proof liquid liner from Wet n Wild. I know where I got Tammy from. That's probably from, I think it's Tammy's Ageless Beauty, if I'm thinking of the right person. And she, she and Debbie are both blonde and have long hair and long, amazing hair. Um, I think Debbie's right now is pink or p partly pink and it's so cute to contrast that with Nikki who doesn't, she shaves her head. So I love that. I love all kinds of differences like that and I, I dream of shaving my head and I, I dream of being blonde again <laughs> and having hair down to my waist and stuff. That's never going to happen. I mean the blonde part might happen but the down to my waist thing, no. My hair just doesn't do that. So I'm going to go in with my lashes, if I can get a hold of them here. I'm just going to use the Ritzy lashes because they're here, they're clean, um, I know what they look like, and yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So in preparation for my, my dinner tonight, I haven't eaten anything all day. <laughs> That's not true. I have eaten something. I, I had a protein bar for breakfast and I had uh, some walnuts and some cream cheese and crackers. Healthy, huh? Well, it's not too bad. But John asked me, he's like, well, what are we going to have for lunch? I was like, I'm not having lunch. I'm saving myself. He's like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and have a snack. <laughs> That's guys for you. They don't think about, you know, calories in and calories out and stuff. They just, they just eat when they're hungry and I don't know. Gotta love them, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes and I will probably go ahead and put my top on, do my hair and do something with my hair. I don't know. I'll probably wear it up or something, but uh, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I am back, and my hair is a wild thing, but I kind of like it. And I just realized how late it is, and so I gotta get going. Or I should say, we gotta get going. But I did want to thank you for joining me today while I got ready to go on my anniversary dinner and be sure and look for that tag video that should be coming up pretty soon I don't really want to I don't want to sleep on that so um, yeah I think that's probably gonna do it for for today guys um, I don't really have I didn't add anything after I went and you know put on my lashes and stuff and my sweater is super cute. It's like um, like an asymmetric kind of situation. I got this at Buckle and um, I love the color of it. It's really hard to find green things. And I don't know why that is. I love green. So I think I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you again for joining me while I got ready for my anniversary dinner, my 30th anniversary dinner with my husband. I really appreciate your time here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, ring the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And uh, until next time, bye guys.